It's him. Run along now. It's a pity about Mr. Polly. It's a pity about us all, Carrie. And he's not the first innocent victim of war, is he? Come along and have a game of darts. If you don't mind, sir, I'll quit while I'm ahead. Was that Mr. Magone you was just talking to? Yes, young Kerry brings word from the booking agent. The show is about to return to the road, with myself alone, center stage, bringing truth and beauty to the multitudes and the wealth of the Incas to your humble servant. Have a drink. Joan, two ales, celebration size. Well, to tell you the truth, sir, it's sort of a celebration for me, too, so tonight the treat's on me. You just tell me when this runs out. What's your occasion, Lieutenant? The case, sir. Mr. Pauly's murder, I think I'm getting close. Then we'll drink to your good fortune. Here's to friendship, ripe and long. Here's to voices raised in song. Here's to a long and thirsty night. Here's to the stuff that makes it right. I got one for you, sir. Well, this is not exactly a toast. Ah, we'll waive the formalities, Lieutenant. Out with it. There once was an old man from Lyme who married three wives at a time. When asked why a third, he replied, one's absurd and two of them, sir, is a crime. <laughs> I accept that as a challenge, Lieutenant. Limericks at 20 paces. Ready, aim, fire. The limerick is furtive and mean. You must keep her in close quarantine, or she sneaks to the slums and promptly becomes disorderly, drunk, and obscene. <laughs> That's a terrific limerick. Try this one, sir. A rare old bird is the pelican. His bill holds more than his belican. He can take in his beak enough food for a week. I'm damned if I know how to helicast. <laughs> Just one more thing. 